Hello all, welcome to Selenium Python training series. In this session, as part of Selenium WebDriver, I'm going to practically demonstrate how to wait for an element to become invisible on the web page. So let's get started. This session is a continuation of the waiting mechanism sessions. Okay, the waiting mechanism started here. Okay, then, you know, additional topics of this waiting mechanisms I covered in the previous sessions like fluent wait, wait for an element to become visible, wait for the presence of the element, wait for the element to be clickable. Now I am covering how to wait for an element to become invisible on the web page. That means we are waiting for an element to disappear from the page. Okay, we'll wait until the particular element becomes or disappears from the page. Okay, we are waiting till then. So for that, I'll take an example, guys. okay? For that, I'll take an example. So let me open this browser and take you to an application where we can, you know, automate this thing to see whether a particular element on the page is getting disappeared till then we are waiting or not. Okay. For that, I'll go to this application internet Heroku app. Okay. Just type this internet Heroku app and search. You'll get this link. The internet Heroku app link you will get. Scroll down where you will see this dynamic loading link. Okay. You will see this dynamic loading link. Click on the dynamic loading link. You'll be taken to this page where you see this example one, example two. I'll go with the example one. I'll copy this URL guys of example one page, okay, which has a start button. So here, what I'll do is uh, parallelly, I'll practically demonstrate this for you. So I'll go here and paste it here in the Selenium Python sample script, which is going to open the Chrome browser, maximize the browser window and open this application URL. Once we go here, what I want to do is I want to click on the start button. When I click on the start button, this progress is coming. I have to wait until this progress is disappeared from the page. Okay. Here is the place where we are waiting for a particular element to be disappeared. That is progress should get disappeared. Then once the progress is disappeared, you'll get this hello world. This text I want to retrieve from this page and print in the output console of my PyCharm ID. Okay. To print this particular text, progress need to go away, right? It will not immediately come, right? Once I click on the start button, instead of this hello world text immediately coming, we are seeing a progress. After the progress is done, then only we are getting this. That means for this particular text to be visible on the page, we have to wait for that progress to get disappeared from the page. Okay. So we have to implement in Selenium in such a way that, okay, we have to wait until that progress bar gets disappeared from the page. Then we'll get this heading. Then once you get the heading, you can perform the automation and retrieve this particular text and print in the output console. Hope you got the idea. Now let's, uh, Let's go here. Okay. This is what is the thing guys using the same waiting mechanism. We are going to cover that here. We are going to use a command known as invisibility of element located command. Okay. With the help of this command, we can wait for a particular element to get disappeared from the page. In this case, we are going to wait for the progress bar to get disappeared from the page. Let me reload this page so that, uh, you know, the original element start button will come. So after going to this application, what I have to do first, I have to click on the start button. Let me inspect the start button. Once I click on the start button, that progress bar will come. We have to wait until that progress bar goes away. That's the plan. So here there's a button with uh, some start text in between. I'll create an XPath expression to locate this uh, button. So double slash button text is equal to, I'll give the text start. You see it's locating this start button, copy this. Come back here and simply write down driver dot find element by dot. That is the XPath, right? XPath, give the XPath expression of that button and simply perform dot click. Once you click on that, what will happen? Once you click on the start button, the progress will start. I have to inspect this start. I have to inspect this uh, progress bar so that, you know, I know till when, uh, what time I have to wait, right? I have to wait until that particular progress bar disappears. For that, I have to inspect that progress bar. But what happened in this case was once I clicked on the start button, okay, before I inspected that progress bar, okay, I came to this hello world. This is a problem. How can I inspect that progress bar? If, if uh, progress bar is only coming for less time and I'm landing on this final page where the required text is there, then as per my automation script needs, I have to inspect that progress bar and wait until that progress bar goes away, right? I have to create a locator for the locator for the progress bar, but I am unable to create the locator for that because it's not uh, there on the page for a long time. Uh, again, I will refresh this page. Again, the start button is coming. Once the progress bar starts, quickly go to the sources tab here and here there's an option of pass. Just, you see, before I click on the pass also, it's gone away. Again, let me refresh again. Again, you see, until you achieve, you have to do this. Click on start and while, while progress bar is going away, click on this pass, this pass option. So once I do that, the debugger will be passed. Okay. So it will not end. Okay. It will not continue. The code has stopped running. 
the application code for this application this web page has stopped running until i resume here it will be there here in this state only now I, I i don't have to hurry much to create a locator for this progress bar i don't have to hurry much simply i'll select this uh, inspect option from here and inspect this progress bar the html code for this progress bar came up here so rather i'll go with view section which is locating the entire section of this progress bar along with that loading text and image right i think this has an id also so it's better i can take the id of this uh, you know i'll copy this id of this entire section i need to wait until this uh, this section that is having this loading text and progress bar image go away okay i have to wait until this progress section goes away then i'll get the required heading right so in the script i have to wait until that progress disappears progress uh, section disappears so what i will do is i already copied the id id locator for this uh, progress section so i have to wait until that progress section disappears from the page for that to happen i have to implement this uh, i have to create an object for the web driver wait and in the constructor i need to pass driver and the maximum time that you can wait for the progress bar to get disappeared that is i will take 30 here I'll create an object reference, say wait, and using this object reference, I'll call this until command, and inside this until, I'll type expected conditions. Then, which command I have to use here? Invisibility of element located. Type invisibility, invisibility of, invisibility of element is there, element located. Generally, we have to go with located kind of commands, okay? Invisibility of element located, you write, type. Inside the circular brackets, again, provide circular brackets, and now give the by dot id. Here we capture the ID, right? Uh, from this page, you see, I capture the ID. That is loading of this uh, section, loading progress, loading section. Give that. Here, it will return you the element of this particular ID that is nothing but a progress section, which includes the progress text and, you know, the image, progress image, progress section, I will say. I have to wait until this progress section get disappeared, okay? I am waiting. Actually, by writing these two lines, I am waiting. The remaining lines to get run right first this selenium has to wait until this this progress bar with that progress text goes away once that goes away what will happen once that goes away what will happen go to sources and just resume here you see after that goes away progress section goes away we'll get this particular text which we want to retrieve right inspect this hello world and this is html code and you know uh, it's uh, better to start with id and then go with this text i have to locate this h4 thing but i'll start with id because of a because I can create a proper locator for this double slash new at the rate ID is equal to give the ID of the parent tag and uh, above which this H4 tag is there, right? Okay. The parent of this H4 tag I'll locate first and under the slash H4 I'll say so that uh, I'll create a proper locator. Okay. Copy this part, copy this XPath expression, which is loca locating this head, uh, this heading text. And here you see there is some text between the tags that I want to retrieve. For that, I'll simply write down driver dot find element by dot xpath give the xpath expression of that heading simply to retrieve the text between the tags i have to type text and it will return you the heading text okay heading heading underscore text will be retrieved now simply i'll say print of heading text after that i'll quit the browser that's it so this is how we can achieve here the simple thing is that uh, we are using this command known as invisibility of element located Okay, by using this command, we are waiting for that progress section on that page to disappear from the page. After that, we are performing the operation, the required operation, because if you don't wait for the element to be disappeared, this particular progress to disappear, this heading will not come and your script will fail. We have to wait until this particular progress element goes away as part of this example of this session. And after that, we can retrieve the text, right? Let's see whether this particular text is being, the progress bar is getting disappeared and Selenium is uh, waiting until that progress bar progress section disappears and then after waiting it is retrieving the text or not let's see okay let me run this script right click run you see what is going to happen so it should wait until that progress bar goes away you see let's click down the start button and uh, it's waiting until the progress section goes away after the progress bar is go gone away then only it has uh, you know till then it waited and it has retrieved this hello world text on the final page and retrieved and printed in the output console so with this, I hope you understood how to wait for an element to be invisible or to get disappeared from the page. So that's all for this session. See you in the next session. Thank you. Bye-bye.